Technology is obviously constantly shifting. That's going to be the biggest problem is to get people to accept change. It changes so fast. Back then, things were very different. We um, didn't see electrical appliances, vacuum cleaners. There were no uh, air conditioning units. So the way facilities were managed and the way they were, they were maintained back then was probably a very different story from the one we see today. APA was conceived in a climate of national growth, optimism, and technological change. Telephones and cars were new, fresh off the assembly line. You can imagine the need for people to connect, to collect, to collaborate. And that's clearly what these folks in the Midwest wanted to do. In 1914, facilities managers gathered in Chicago. It was the first time they had gotten together to talk about their successes and challenges. Electricity was new to campuses. Ohio State's William McCracken had just replaced the campus gas lights with electricity. When you look at the, um, the history of electricity in, in on a college campus, I mean, it's almost comparable to where we are with the internet today. My wife teaches in a very, very small rural school in New Hampshire, and uh, they have less than 70 students, and every student has an iPad. A three-room schoolhouse. We're now seeing students that have a totally different perspective because they've, they've never been in the absence of technology. My sixth grader, his, all of his homework and everything is on a, lap, a netbook. The big discussion point for, for K-12 education right now is, is how much longer are we going to be using textbooks? So if they're doing that in sixth grade, I think when he gets to college, he's going to expect some pretty cool technology too. <laughs> It used to be that radio, film, and television were on the educational cutting edge. Today, it's iPads, tablets, and MOOCs. MOOCs, which are you know, massive uh, open online courses, opens up a, an entire breadth of learning that uh, dramatically differs from what we have typically seen of the sage on the stage. edX currently offers 207 courses from 47 institutions around the world. Coursera, 683 courses from 110 institutions. And Udacity offers 36. The traditional classroom is really not there anymore. The future students are looking for space. They're looking for a lot more social environments. Technology is more than a force changing the educational world. It's changing the way facilities professionals approach their jobs. And we need to be cutting edge in terms of the tools we use. Whether it's a saw that our carpenters use or electronic tools, the software, the BIM modeling now, what they can do with 3D rendering and layers on top of layers and rotating things and being able to envision what a built building might really look like and how it can function and how all the systems can relate to one another before we build anything. Keeping up with, with current technology, uh, the, the use of the computer has revolutionized what we do in facility management. Where everybody's so used to doing it their way and their old ways, um, and then here comes these new technologies and you're trying to figure out, well, um, I went from here, how do I do this? These mechanics now need to be computer literate. They need to understand software. They need to be able to understand how to manage these systems remotely from a computer or a PDA from their home or in the car. We're faced with uh, a continual change with technology. Uh, you're looking at changes in, with regard to sustainable construction. Green technologies are reshaping our campuses too from recycling to harnessing the sun. All sorts of different types of technology, such as solar, and we've got a lot of um, controls uh, in our buildings that will control our heating and cooling, uh, electricity, anything that's kind of a cost-saving uh, measure. Carbon neutrality within a short time for our campus is kind of our goal. 100 years ago, the Organization for Superintendents and Groundskeepers gathered for the first time at the Sherman Hotel in Chicago. 
APA was established in a time of tremendous technological change. So the trick for us as we move forward is thinking, how do we really capture that technological change, embrace it, adapt to it, and form it in a way that allows us to move forward and create a path forward? Transformational change, revolutionary change. Um, the need for APA today is greater than at any other time in our history.